Welcome in, everyone. I'm obviously David Hookstead. And before we get into today's topic, which is one of the most powerful, uh, inspirational, motivational, and important topics in the history of the United States military, I need you all to subscribe, smash that like button, get in the comments with your thoughts. Remember, that is hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, give your comments. It really helps the channel grow, get more attention, and thus share these stories. So trust me, if you do anything for me, subscribe and like. And today we are talking about a story that has always been very dear to me, one I take very, very important, and that is the legacy and memory of Delta Force sniper Gary Gordon and fellow Delta Force sniper Randy Shugart. Now, many of you watching this channel are probably very well aware of who both those men are. If you're not, that's what we're going to go over today, and I and I can't really wait to dig into it with you all because it is a powerful, powerful story of these two men. It all stems from the Battle of Mogadishu, which is commonly known as Black Hawk Down. Black Hawk Down was a battle that took place in Somalia, for a little bit of background, in Somalia, there's a famous movie about it from Ridley Scott. I've interviewed several people from Black Hawk Down. They were sent there. There was this clan that was carrying out essentially a genocide and ethnic cleansing, starving people to death. And the United States, after some attacks on peacekeepers, said, we are going to go in and we are going to send in a task force ranger, which was comprised of mostly Delta Force commandos for the Tier 1 element supported by CCTs. Uh, and there were four Navy SEALs, six guys, I believe, there, and then a bunch of Army Rangers really served as the hammer and backbone of this operation. And the goal was was twofold. So initially the plan was we're going to get a bunch of aid in there. And when that failed, Task Force Rangers' job, their job was not to distribute aid at all. Their job was to find a deeds man, find a deed himself, take out the people on the target list. They are a direct action mission. They're not here to negotiate. Negotiations gone out, out the window. Once Task Force Rangers shows up, once the Army, Delta Force, Army Rangers, Air Force CCTs, and the four Navy SEALs and their support elements show up, negotiations are over. It's time to get the shooting on, for lack of a better term. October 3rd, 1993, a day many, many history buffs are well aware of, was supposed to be a day where they would simply go into Mogadishu, uh, I believe it was around Bakari Market, and they were going to capture some of Adid's lieutenants, which they did do. They rolled in with force. The Delta Force guys, just like in the movie, they come in and little, uh, the, the little birds, they've got the rangers in blocking positions uh, in the convoy, which is where guys I've interviewed, they were in the convoy. And then you have guys that fast rope down from the Blackhawks to seal off the area. The initial operation, this is one of the things people get confused all the time. The operation of capturing uh, the, the targets was very successful. That went off pretty much without any issue of any kind. They got the people they were looking for. The mission quickly pivoted when two Blackhawk helicopters were shot down. I believe Super 6-1 was the first helicopter that was shot down. And Super 6-4 was the one Mike Durant was piloting, which is the one that leads us here today. The, the I don't want to say more famous, but the one that plays a much larger role in the story and in the movie. Uh, the movie is rather accurate to the combat on the ground, according to the guys who were there. It's condensed. It's not entirely exactly what happened, but it's close, which is very important. So who were Gary Gordon and Randy Shugart? Both of them were Delta Force snipers who'd gone through Delta Force selection, Delta Force OTC had moved on to their respective squadron. C Squadron was the squadron that was in in Somalia, in Mogadishu at this time. And when 6-4 gets shot down with Mike Durant on it, they send out a message repeatedly asking for permission. They're like, we want to go in. We want to defend the crash site. But you got to remember, the city is what, a million people? It is all hell's breaking loose. They're two guys, and they're thinking, hey, we're two guys, but we're two Delta Force snipers. We're the best shooters on the planet. There's nobody that can keep up with us, which is a factual statement. Nobody on the planet shoots as well as Delta Force. No snipers on the planet shoot as well as Delta Force. So here you have these two great American heroes saying, send us in, let us go in, even though there's two of us, and there's a horde of hundreds, thousands of people descending on Mike Durant's location. We believe we can hold them off. They're denied, I believe, three times. Eventually, just like in the movie, it goes over the radio and it says, do you, do you understand what you're asking for? Essentially, this is a suicide mission. We put you two on the ground. There's no way we can get you help. It is you two against the horde of crazy Somalians who are shooting at every American they can see. And Gordon Shugart said, yes, we understand. We want to go in. They go in. 
They, they touch down, they get to the crash site, and a massive gun battle uh, erupts after being repeatedly denied. This is what they were worried about, that they'd get there, it'd be two against hundreds, two against thousands. And to really put it simply, they're inserted around 16 40, uh, what would be 440 local time in the afternoon, and they open a can of whoop ass on these guys. These two Delta Force snipers just start pouring it on them. I mean, they're hitting guys left and right. They're taking out bad guys left and right to defend Mike Durant. They're they're here to secure this crash site site and 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 defend Mike Durant. And the Somalian hordes wave after wave after wave, just like in the movie. Keep coming, keep coming. And Shugart, he's hitting them. Gary Gordon, he's hitting them. I believe Gordon carried an M14, and I believe Shugart carried a regular M4. That, don't quote me on that, but I believe that is accurate. So they eventually, they fight until they run out of ammunition, until they get shot up so bad they run out of ammunition. One of the things that is kind of not known is who died first. Mike Durant has said that he believes Gary Gordon died first. Uh, or I, I can't remember if he believes Gary Gordon or Randy Shugart uh, died first. I believe he says Gary Gordon died first because Shugart then kind of puts him in this crook and nanny area and gives him a weapon, and that's when he essentially says to him, uh, Gordy's gone, best of luck. And what he's saying to Mike Durant in that moment is, I'm going to go back out there. I'm going to hold this horde off as long as I can. My teammate's already dead. And, and I'm going to be dying real fast. I mean, I, I'm next up, but I'm going to buy you as much time. Think about the courage. Think about the heroism a person has to have to have gone into that situation. But real quick, later it was claimed by some other people on the mission, and I believe the author, Mark Bowden, that maybe uh, Shugart had died first, and Gordon was the one who had actually gotten Durant in, in the kind of that, that corner that you see in the movie and if memory serves me correct, Durant is not really 100% sure. I believe he believes Gordon was first, Shugart was second, but that he doesn't know beyond a shadow of a doubt, if you will, and, and maybe they'll never know. Uh, that That's just quite honestly the, the, the truth of the matter. So they fought for about an hour. They were inserted at 440 in the afternoon, local time. Uh, they both died right around 540, so about an hour later. So they held off a horde, a wave of, of Somali fighters, just one after another after another, until they had no more bullets left to shoot. In the movie, you see, you know, he's like last mag, pistol mag. They're going through all their ammunition. They give Durant a weapon. He's trying to shoot people from behind to, to protect them. It, it just essentially was an absolute disaster in terms of from the moment those helicopters got shot down. But it's in the darkest moments you see true heroism, and that's what I want to really focus on. These two men didn't have to go. Gary Gordon, Randy Shugart, they could have stayed in the helicopter. They could have fired from above. They could have stayed in an overwatch position. They did not have to go. They asked repeatedly, were denied repeatedly, and kept pushing it to get in on the ground against overwhelming numbers, overwhelming numbers, to defend Mike Durant. That's what they were willing to do for their, their fellow American, a 160th SOAR pilot. Not even a Delta Force operator, not someone from their squadron, not someone from their troop, but an American soldier on the battlefield with them who was cut off and surrounded by enemy fighters. And what do they do? They ask for permission to go in and essentially, for lack of a better term, start wasting dudes, which is exactly what happened. And people want to get down and out about America. They want to talk about how America has all these problems. Look, we can debate that till we're blue in the face. The reality of the situation is this. There are great humans courageous humans in this country. And when your back is up against the wall, you better hope that someone like Gary Gordon and someone like Randy Shugart are there to answer that call because those two Delta Force snipers, they chose to go on a suicide mission knowing there was almost no chance they were going to walk out of that unheard. And what happens? They both get killed defending Mike Durant and the crash site, killing who knows how many of dozens, if not more, Somali fighters. And that, if that does not make you proud to be an American, if that does not make you proud of the men in Delta Force, if that does not make you proud of Tier 1 operators, I simply don't know what will. They both were uh, awarded the Medal of Honor, which I believe was the first time Medal of Honors had been awarded since the Vietnam War. And, and they, they did everything you would expect of a Medal of Honor, Honor winner. They put their country before themselves. They put their teammate before themselves. They put Mike Durant's life before themselves. And when push came to shove, 
they got in the fight at the first possible opportunity, and they died in a country protecting strangers. Remember, they were there to get Adid's men, protecting other clans they'd never met, and they died defending an American, defending a crash site of an American, and Mike Durant is alive to this day. He survived the war. He's, he's done interviews. It's not secret that Mike Durant was the guy in that helicopter. And frankly, I am so proud of men like that exist and that we as Americans get to call Randy Shugart and Gary Gordon our fellow countrymen. And I hope every American hears their story. I hope every American learns from their story. Share this video with anyone you want to. It is it is powerful, powerful stuff. And as an American, I wanted to take some time to honor those two Delta Force legends. And when you hear guys in Delta Force talk about them today, they talk about them like they were gods because they did something a lot of people believe that they would do, put yourself in harm's way. But the reality of the situation, as we all know, is most people actually don't. Most people run away from trouble. Not Gary Gordon, Randy Shugart. They got they got their butts in the fight, and they were squeezing the trigger against bad guys to protect Mike Durant's life. And I wanted to take a moment to honor their legacy, thank them for what they did, and share their story here with everyone to make sure it never dies. If you've made it this far in the video, it means you've definitely enjoyed what you've been seeing and hearing. So like, subscribe. That is like and subscribe, and comment below. Comment below with what you think of the, the sacrifice of Gary Gordon, Randy Shugart, two Medal of Honor heroes. And you want to see more content? We've got more videos popping up. Click one and enjoy.